previously on Life is Strange. Whoa! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now! It won't work! I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet! Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank. Being more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello? Are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. The, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. 
I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What have photographers called that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. It might be, but... I'd like to think we can still change things for the better. I'd like to think that too. But I don't have much hope these days. I know things seem out of control, but... As long as we're together... I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe. I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max. Thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. None taken. It's a pretty high-tech lair. Feels like a high-tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive, when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? <laughs> oh, 
Oh, man. She has to use that ventilator just to breathe. At least Chloe doesn't weigh that much. I'm glad I took this photo. Chloe has a new memory of William and her together. Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? She can't even feel the grass now. That's a serious heat lamp. Max, it is so cool that you're here again. I'm glad you think so. Hello, Chloe. <laughs> she likes fluffy animals now. Oh, the snow doe. I guess not everything changed. Snow globes are taking over. I still can't believe I put Chloe in that chair. Chloe's message board since the accident sure looks lonely. I didn't add much. Bad, Max. It's nice my parents sent a card at least. I wonder who this is. Kind of a generic card. I wasn't very available to Chloe. Real nice. At least I sent road trip selfies to Chloe. I'm sure that made her feel great. Man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. They're so great. I should offer to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but it would be fun. Whoa, Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high-tech help. That is so incredible. And she can browse cat videos on the web. Chloe is still a punk at heart, but she can't stage dive anymore. That's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. who kept in touch. I should have kept more in touch. There's the old Chloe. Instead of handing Chloe a bong, I'm feeding her water. Did I give her a choice? That must be her mighty morphine machine. No more bongs for her. Drink up, Buttercup. Oh man, no wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. 
What do you remember about us as kids? We all have different memories. I think about us as little pirates running and jumping through Arcadia Bay. Me too. But we're still pirates in our own way. Uh, yeah, right. Check me out, Chloe of the Caribbean. No way will I get on a fucking boat now. Unless you're with me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. You have me. I'm not leaving you, Chloe. Well, you didn't visit me a lot either. I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but... I know I wasn't around much. No excuses, I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not Supermax. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. I know this is a dumb question, but... Are you lonely here? Yes, dumb question. I don't mind being alone. I can't exactly go party like a rock star, though. Or get in 18 trouble with the folks. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks, and the medical bills are fucking insane. Can they pay all the bills? <sighs> no way. They keep the numbers away from me, but it doesn't take much research to find out I'm costing my parents almost a million dollars a year. Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> What do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. I swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. Thanks. I uh, think you missed a grain stuck in my eyeball. <laughs> Hard to believe how just a little sand can cause such a big mess. It's like that Chinese proverb, a spark can start a fire that burns the entire prairie. You know, like the butterfly thing. <laughs> so I've heard. Nothing but medical supplies. She has to use a lot of lotion to keep her blood circulating. Max, it is so cool that you're here again. I'm glad you think so. Chloe was a straight-A student. She could have gone to any college. What a bastard. I totally should have let Chloe steal your bullshit fund, even if it wasn't another reality. Despite everything, they're still a happy family again. It's cool that in this reality, Chloe really loves skating too. So here's the DVD player. Now I just need to find the DVD. Oh my god, I made that mix for her when we were 12.
You're really my only friend who kept in touch. I should have kept more in touch. Aha, here's the DVD. I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. <laughs> How dare you. I know you were beat down after the day with me. And Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do, you, do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again, it meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's, uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep the swag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. So, are you sure it isn't too weird for you to be hanging out with me like this? No way. I don't want you to feel weird. My life is just so different than yours. I mean, we can't just bounce out of here and... I'll be doped up half the day in pain. So that's cool. But I do feel grateful I can see the ocean. That I have parents who love me. And that my best friend is here with me today. Exactly. So, what else do you need? Well, hot monkey sex would be nice. <laughs> oh, look. I made Maxine blush. So, are you dating anyone at Blackwell? Oh, I'm too busy with school and photography. Oh, please. You can't be an artist unless you experience life. That includes boys, girls, whatever. I was supposed to go out with this guy named Warren, but... I don't think he's into me anymore. His loss. You need to move on, girl. Plenty of fish in the bay. <laughs> Shit. I sound like my dad. That's okay if you sound like William. He really cares about you. Rub it in. I can't ever get mad at the fool. He does so much for me. I haven't done Jack for him. You have. You're here with your family. More like they're here for me. But then so are you. So it's all good. No, 
I don't think Joyce's tips will cover all this. This insurance is worthless. This is just for Chloe's basic supplies. Ooh, wonderful. Bonjour. That's great they finally went to Paris. They gave Chloe their giant expensive HDTV, and they use her shitty tube television. To think that our destiny is linked to goddamn car keys. Yep, that's the same graffiti from before. Oh man, the swing is gone now. It must have been sad for Chloe when William took it down. Chloe actually moved our drawing so she could see it from her room. Chloe. I'm glad Chloe gets a room with a view. I'm sorry, Bongo Kitty, but you passed on before I changed this reality. Look at all these dead birds. It's happening here, too. The house looks so great. William finally had the time to paint the house and fix up the garden.
These whales are just a preview of the tornado to come. And the Prescott Foundation? Jesus. Rachel Amber is even missing in this reality. I guess I can't change everything. They might get their own home taken away because of medical bills. That's terrible. I definitely have to take a third job. Hey, William. Um, am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Good, or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? So you finally made it to Paris. Oui, as they say. <laughs> Not me, because I can't speak French. But it was a great experience, especially for Chloe. I can see her loving it there. You guys rock for going on a family adventure like that. She talked about going to school there, but that's not practical anymore. It's not fair, Max. I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. The insurance helps, but I... I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys. Financially. These bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But, but we'll get through it. Price is always right. Get it? No? Being around you and Joyce again is... so... nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So, it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? What do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus type shit, pardon my French. But all I actually care about now is Chloe and Joyce. My family. The Prescott family might be bad news. What do you think about them? Evil. Next question? Sounds like you know them well. More than I want to. But Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Pan Estates. I don't even like to think about it. I was reading about that missing girl. Rachel Amber? Oh, yes. Yeah, she went to Blackwell, right? Oh, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might... Lose her someday. I don't know how to say this, but... I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. She's been a trooper. Is she mad at me for not staying in touch? She should be. I have no excuse. She was disappointed. But she knows you care. And I know how hard it is to process all this. It's taken us years. William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. You act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. No change to spare anymore. Now it's back to cookies. Choices of food coupon boss. Joyce and William never had a garage sale before.
They're drowning in debt just to take care of their daughter. Such bullshit. Apparently, the only thing that hasn't changed is this view. Oh, Max, it is so nice to have you around. I didn't realize how bad Chloe's entry really was. Look at them. They have no idea what's in their future. That is such a sweet shot of Chloe. I wonder who took the picture. William is trying so hard. He's still awesome. Joyce is already a super mom. Huh. Joyce used to hate smokers in the diner. Good morning, Max. Ah, oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years. After the accident. How are you doing, Joyce? I'm doing the best I can, Max. I won't lie, it's difficult, but nobody said life was easy here in Arcadia Bay. Plus, you guys have to work too. Ah, uh, Bill and I have no time for ourselves. We're working more than we're living. I even had to take a part-time gig at Pan Estates. Ugh. Do you know the Prescotts? I know that Sean Prescott won't be happy until he owns everything in Arcadia Bay. Stay away from his son, Nathan. Do you know somebody named David Madsen? He, um, might hang out at the Two Wheels. Well, that was random. Yeah, he's a, a bus driver. He comes in sometimes. Cute, quiet. Why? Oh, um, I, w I was just... curious. You always were. Nice to see that everything doesn't change. So, what do you think is going on here with all of this eco-havoc? Maybe Arcadia Bay just wants to be left alone. I know the feeling. Honestly, I don't give a shit about too much outside our house. I don't blame you, Joyce. Except now we have dead birds and beach whales outside our front door. So maybe I should care, for Chloe's sake. I have to tell you how much I love seeing you and William together again. He's been such a hero through all this. Chloe and I, we're lucky to have him. Chloe and William seem like they still get along so good. Yeah, those two are closer now more than ever. Chloe will actually listen to William while she usually ignores me. Oh, it's so cute when they gang up on poor old me. You rule, Joyce. Shit. Things would be different if I did. I like how you think, kid. 
I wish I was a better friend. I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors. Oh, Max, you're Chloe's best friend for a reason. You're here exactly when she needs you. I hope so. You guys do such an amazing job taking care of her. We can only do so much, and she gets damn sick of her parents. <laughs> That's why it's so important you came to spend time with her. Max, Chloe's condition is not improving. Her respiratory system is very weak, and she... She... Do you know what I'm saying? <sighs> Choice. I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. Bad or good, I embrace every moment with my daughter and my husband. This is what it means to be a family, and we'll always be one, no matter what. I better get back to Chloe now. It's good talking with you, Joyce. You too, honey. It's good for Chloe to stay in touch with her friends. It's all about you, Arcadia Bay, isn't it? It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine, too. Nothing here. How's it going, Time Tripper? Funny. I think I look older. The bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. Chloe's door doesn't have a warning anymore. Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. They bought crutches for Chloe, hoping she might walk again. Toys? I kind of want to open this and see what's in here. Shoes. <laughs> Chloe always did love stomping around in her boots. I never heard much about William's brother. I'm still overwhelmed by this new reality. I feel so guilty for putting Chloe and her family through this. I could give Chloe the choice of keeping William alive, but that would be cruel. But then I see that they're a family again, and who am I to judge?
I guess we stopped growing up together. But at least we never had to hide from step douche. A blue butterfly? I'm sure this is a total coincidence. Finally, uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry, I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy and painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me, I will. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse, but you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo, but can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please, my diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. So Chloe has her own photo album. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished me. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo... Maybe I could... Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and... Uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible, and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Do you understand? Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11.
Chloe, I, I really don't know if I can do this. I had another friend who wa wanted to end it all, and I did everything I could to try and save her life. How can I be responsible for ending yours? I mean, th there's got to be another way. Max, you were there for your friend, no matter what. Now I'm asking you to help me the same way. I want to help you, Chloe, but... I, th I think my help is hurting. At least you have a choice. When you want to make a decision, you can just do it. Look at me. I'm at the mercy of... everybody. For once, I want to make my own choice. The most important one of my life. Please. Help me, Max. Chloe. I can't. It wrecks me to see you in any pain, but I don't have any right to do this. I'm an adult. I'm giving you the right. But Joyce and William. I already said my goodbyes to them, but they won't honor my wishes. You will, right? I, I can't kill you with an overdose. Max, I'm dying from my illness, not my dosage. This accelerates the process. I'd rather go out on a wave than a rock. And I want my best friend to help me out. I am going to help you, but not like that. You have to believe me, Chloe. Why, Max? You're just bailing on me like everybody else. Why don't you go now? You've been wanting to since you got here, right? So go and don't come back. Chloe. I am never leaving you again. I'm sorry, William. Someday Dad'll get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Hello? Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Jesus. Aha! You can't hide from me forever. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad! Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? He's never leaving me. That makes all of us. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always.
Chloe, you're back. Whoa, whoa, down, Max. You get one kiss, now you're all over me? I'm just, I'm just, I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out too. Welcome back to the real world, Max. I don't think I can ever tell Chloe about what happened. Let's look at the big board and see all our pieces in the puzzle so far. Damn, this is a serious expose on the Prescotts. Finally. Even Holmes and Watson didn't use every piece of information. Staying up all night is the best excuse to drink lots of coffee. Yes, Chloe Price was here. I wish I could tell Chloe how much William cared about her. and all this shit. I'm so sorry, William. It's not fair you had to die twice. Oh, great. Chloe's busted again. I was her partner in crime, but not this time. This butterfly photo seems like a million years ago. How much time have I altered since? That's my Chloe. So close, yet so far away. We have to do three main things. Right. Um, uh, what things? One, decipher Frank's logbook. Two, get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Three, beat Step Douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the Darkroom. Too bad I don't have a gun anymore. Yes, that's the solution. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. <sighs> Fine, whatevs. It's your power. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. You didn't even let me take that money to pay Frank off. And I'm glad. We have to be better than that. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Or to who. 
And be careful of Stepcrack. He's not gonna be a happy camper after you reamed him yesterday and Mom is giving him the boot. I'm on it, partner. I can't abuse this level of my rewind power. It's way too dangerous, and I need to navigate the present without messing up the past. That snow doe always makes me think of William and Chloe. Oh no, that poor little bird has been trapped in here. Blue dye makes me so happy. It means the real Chloe is back with me. Last time I wanted to splash some water on my face, my whole life changed. Since David might be in there, I better mosey along for a change. It's such a warm, beautiful day. How could a killer storm just pop up tomorrow? Fly, be free. This might be the last poster advertising Arcadia Bay after tomorrow night. You won this battle, Max. You broke up my family. I salute you. David, I didn't try to hurt you, ever. But I won't let anybody hurt Chloe. Too late, isn't it? You just better be damn careful with her. Don't you wander off into the dark. I helped Joyce lose William, and now David.
Yep, locked from the other side. David isn't any different from me when he's looking at those family photos. Looks like David already booked a room. Those poor whales are like beached angels. What is going on here? Looks like they're back on the road to Paris. Ouch. Somehow, I existed in this whole other reality. But I, I don't know what happened. The more I use my power, the more I see how little control I have over what happens. Now, Max Caulfield exists in two or maybe three different realities. How can I have a destiny? I wonder if Chloe would hate me for keeping her alive. But I couldn't do it. <sighs> Thinking about all these lifelines almost makes my head hurt worse than the rewind. Did I actually cause that clock to stop? Oh, there's a ladybug stuck in the dials. Time keeps on ticking. To think this all started with my vision of a tornado. My butterfly sketch doesn't exist in this timeline. Like William. Max the Time Bandit strikes again. Poor birds. I guess David wasn't in the mood to clean up. William never finished painting that wall. Joyce must be so upset. Are you helping anybody, Max? Looks like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. Surveillance cameras at Pan Estates? David must be working for the Prescotts too. Should I have signed the petition? Blackwell sure isn't safe and private anymore.
Oh, meow, Miss Grant. Twist that knife. At least he has one weird fan. Wish I had surveillance footage of that conversation. There's more to David Madsen than meets the eye. He should finish this letter to Joyce. Oh, jeez. David is packing up wedding stuff, too. That makes me sad. It was so incredible to see William again. I wish Chloe could too. Either Chloe stole another gun, or David is out there armed. What the hell did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for David? I wonder if David is going to the party. Oh, look at the baby blue jay eggs in the nest. I, I better move this plank if I want to take the shot. This plank is good for nest protection, but bad for a nest photo. Excuse me, just one picture, please. Click. Another photo from my Arcadia Bay wildlife series. Thank you. Sleep tight, my eggy eggs. Whoa, that is a serious padlock on that locker. Hey, David, what you hiding? Open sesame. Oh, maps, notes, coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh, yes. Score. Back to Chloe now. Yo, Chloe! Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. But I absolutely have to go see Kate in the hospital right now. I want to find out how she's doing.
This is definitely Kate's floor. The hospitals always freak me out. I, I hear you. But imagine how Kate feels. I'm so glad I, I get to see her again. I hope it's not too weird for her. No, she'll be stoked to see you. Who wouldn't be? This be it. I'm a little nervous. Just go in there and be her friend. I'll wait out here so you can chill by yourselves. I was a total dick for blowing a fuse when you answered Kate's call the other day. Good thing you ignored me. I had no idea what shit she was going through. And you saved her. Like me. I'm sorry. Thanks, Chloe. But don't be sorry. We're all on the same team. Team Max. Let Kate know we're gonna string Nathan up by his balls then. Oh yes, <laughs> I'm on it. Max! Oh, Kate. I thought I'd never see you again. I feel so ridiculous. I'm so sorry. Kate, listen to me. You have nothing to be sorry about. Other people do. You do not know how happy I am to see you. You look awesome. Is it a stupid question if I ask how you're doing? Now that you're here, I'm doing even better. I'm so grateful to you for coming up to the roof to talk me down. Max, I felt so lost and alone. When I saw how much you cared, how hard you were trying, you made me realize I wasn't alone. Thank you. Kate, there are so many people who love you and want to help you. I know. You should see all the letters and postcards. I gave most of the flowers to other patients here because they need them more than me. I'm keeping the balloons, though. One of the nurses gave me some pen and paper so I could do some drawings. I love your illustrations. They got kind of dark there for a while, but I have an idea for a new children's book about bullying. I was thinking of having some photographs in there too. I hope that's a subtle hint that you'll let me take the photographs for the book. Was that subtle? You better take the pictures, Max. I'm going to be here for another day until my family comes out to visit. How are they treating you? Like they need to protect me forever. They're so upset. And I know they feel guilty, even though they didn't do anything. I was surprised how many students from Blackwell wrote me. Daniel, Mr. Jefferson, even Victoria wrote me a very sweet note. And I believe she was being real. Me too. I'm glad you believe again, Kate. I'm working on it, Max. I just pray I can get this drawing right. It's amazing to just sit here quiet with Kate again. I don't think I'll ever know how much destiny I'm changing. But whoever said we only have a single fate? Oh, time travel is such a mindfuck. Principal Wells knows how to step it up when he wants to. That is so sweet. Even Victoria signed. But not Nathan. Victoria Chase might be queen bitch, but she's not evil. Thank you, sisters. 
You really saved Kate. Good to see that Kate is still working on her book report. Oh, I love Kate's happy rainbow flock. I don't think get well is quite apropos. If this gets Kate through the night, so be it. Those are nice flowers. And from Taylor? Wow, props to her. That is so good to know that Kate is drawing again. Kate, it is so good to hang out with you again. Max, I owe you so much. And I can tell you want to talk to me about something. I always want to talk to you. We missed our tea session this week. That was so not cool. We need to plan, like, a tea shop tour of Portland. Oh, yes. And you could bring Warren along, too. What do you think of uh, Warren? Oh, smart and silly. He's got such a good heart. And he's a cutie pie. You know he likes you. I'm going to the drive-in with him, so <laughs> we'll see. With everything that's going on, it, a date seems weird. No, you deserve that. Kate Marsh, matchmaker. I'm glad somebody is looking out for my love life. Even angels need angels, Max. I saw Victoria's letter. How does that make you feel? Max, I know Victoria can be a... Uh, not nice, but I do believe in forgiveness and redemption. I might be naive, but I feel her struggle. Me too. I could have taken a picture of her covered in paint, but I didn't, and we had a genuine moment. We all have our moments. Why do you think she acts so mean? She's a bitch. I'm sorry, but she's wealthy, pretty, and yes, talented, so there's no reason for her to treat people like shit. Well, there must be. If Victoria could write me such a sincere letter. If anybody could make Victoria see the light, it would be Kate Marsh. No. I think it will take more than that, Max. I want you to know I'm this close to getting all the info I need about Nathan. Nathan Prescott has to pay for what he did. And we have to stop him from hurting anybody else. Well, I did get his ass suspended, so that might be a start. You did? Oh, right on, Max. I love how fearless you are. So what is going on with him now? I think his family is totally protecting him. Or worse. I never say this about people, but Max, there's something evil about the Prescotts. They have something to do with death. We're going to stop him. I just have to find Nathan's room number, get inside, and get the clues I need. Max, please let me help. I can get the number, and I'll text it to you, okay? Of course, Kate. I can't do this without you. Now it's time for Nathan to watch out for us. I have to get back to our uh, mission. You don't know how much it means to see you again. I do. That's why I love you, Max. Thanks for taking care of my bunny. Tell Alice I'll see her soon. Well, how is she? She's still Kate Marsh. Thank God. I'm glad we came to see her. Thanks for coming with me. Now let's go pay a visit to Nathan Prescott. That little prick is not going to be glad when he sees us.
Hey, Max. How you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend, Chloe. Yeah. Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for this school. It's a long story. And actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird just being on campus like everything's normal. I know. Lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. So I hope you'll be there to celebrate, even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. I feel like a total loser, but it's been a hard week to focus. No pun intended. I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. And nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Hot for teacher. Gross! You are out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. Let's see if I can find out where Nathan is. Principal Wells was so loaded the other night here. Poor Daniel. Looks like he needs a hug. Hey, Daniel. You look bummed out. Are you all right? Hola, Max. I just figured out that my photos basically suck. I'm a wannabe artist. You're not here to be a photographer. That's my gig. Look at that sketch you did of me. Incredible. And that's your art. Your gift. <sighs> I do feel better now. You are good, Max. Have you talked to anybody about what happened with Kate? I... Don't talk to anyone, Max. But I did actually have a nice talk with Brooke. She couldn't stop talking about how brave you were on that roof. I don't think doing the right thing is brave, but I appreciate what she means. The most important thing is that Kate gets better and gets justice. I hear that, Max. She's the sweetest, most genuine person I've ever met. I don't mind getting picked on by Blackwell bro holes. But don't fuck with Kate. I like this revolutionary Daniel DaCosta. Only if I can start the revolution from my sketchbook, Max. Are you going to the end of the world party tonight? It will be if I go, man. People here push me into lockers, not dance floors. That's exactly why you should go to that party. We have to stand up to these Blackwell bullies for Kate. You won't be alone, Daniel. Not with you to back me up, Max. Oh, damn it. I will go to the party like it is the end of the world. Okay, maybe I won't go, but... No, I won't do that, but... I'll go. By the way, have you seen Nathan Prescott? Oh, I heard a rumor he's actually suspended. Yeah, but he's still gotta be on campus. That explains why he looked so pissed off when I saw him leaving campus a few moments ago. Let's talk later. Okay, Daniel? Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. Thanks again for making me feel better and pushing me to the party. Let's chat later, Max. That's what I get for helping Alyssa. A broken window.
Good thing I didn't let Chloe take that money from Principal Wells. Enjoy the big game, Zachary. I hope it's not the last. Okay, where did these rocks come from? This is too Blair Witch for me. One photo. For posterity. Tobango will ever give up any secrets to us. That's so ironic that Warren asked Max to the drive-in. Brooke doesn't look happy that I'm going ape with Warren. Hey, Brooke. How are you? I'm here as usual. By the way, thanks for helping Kate down. Are you okay? I need to find Nathan. Have you seen him around? Ask Warren. I mean, you're going to the movies with him and everything. Come on, Brooke. Don't be that way. Nathan was suspended, but he should still be on campus. Warren's not good enough for you? Okay. I saw Nathan pissed and walking off campus earlier. Good luck getting that date, Max. I can't get my limited brain around that eclipse and the beached whales. I was hoping the science department had some ideas. Warren and I are supposed to compare notes and theories this weekend. That makes sense. Two big brains are better than one. Or mine. We'd get the Nobel Prize if we could explain this phenomenon, but even Miss Grant has no clue. I might feel better taking your drone for a quick flight. Miss Grant finally gave up and let me fly her again. But you're going to the drive-in with Warren, so you don't have time to fly my drone. Really? I can't fly your drone because I'm going to see ape movies with Warren? You are perceptive, Max. Now, excuse me. My drone needs me. That's so ironic that Warren asked Max to the drive-in. I had to clear away another batch of dead birds today. Sad. Makes me mad. It's not like Climate change isn't real my ass. I think everything is changing here. As a scientist, I'm fascinated. As Michelle Grant, I'm very worried. Arcadia Bay is scared too. Maybe I should have asked Look at the weather. And the animals. Not to mention poor Kate Marsh. We all need to look out for each other these days. How are you doing, Max? Been a tough week. I know. Yes, it has, Samuel. How are you? Sad and confused like everybody else in Arcadia Bay. You look like you have a lot of questions, too. I still have a million questions about what's happening to Arcadia Bay. Th that must be why Miss Gant says you're one of her favorite students at Blackwell. I'd rather be in her class than the Vortex Club. Yes, you would. Rachel saw right through them. She's not the only one. Nobody should be trapped in the Vortex Club. Get out now, Max. While time is on your side. I keep thinking that Rachel Amber has a few answers. If we can find her. If Rachel wants to be found. Do you think she's alive? She'll always be alive in our hearts. Sometimes that's all we have left. But... Max, all I can tell you is to stay on your path and you'll find what you're looking for. Rachel Amber is waiting too. Even though Miss Grant likes me, 
I have zero science skills to explain that eclipse. As I was just saying to her, that's because science has no explanation. Well, no offense to Miss Grant here, but this is just the beginning. Beginning of what? Oh, I, I don't believe anything ever ends. Especially time. That's why I can sense something bigger is coming to Arcadia Bay. And Max, I don't like it at all. More questions than answers. Samuel is always here to talk. Have you seen Nathan Prescott around? That would be hard since he was suspended. You don't sound sad, Samuel. Nathan hurts people. The end. What do you really know about him? Not enough to help you, Max. I truly wish I could. I see what you're doing. Do you ever talk with David Madsen? He talks to me. I listen. That's how David operates. He sees things, not people. But I... I think he sees you, Max. Why do you say that? Because you both see with cameras. I think you have better vision than both of us. <laughs> no, Max. I, I just look at everything from a different angle. I actually just talked to Kate Marsh in the hospital. She's doing so much better because of you, Max. That was quite a rescue. Samuel, you're the eyes of Blackwell. Did you know Kate was being bullied? Most everyone makes fun of me. But Samuel warned them about Kate. I hate bullies, Max. I believe you. Kate just needed some more helpful spirits like her friend Max. I hope she finds them now. I definitely have questions about what's happening to the animals in Arcadia Bay. Oh, many do. These poor creatures have no choice in what happens to them. What do you think about all those dying birds? Samuel had to bury dozens near the Tabanga. What happened to them? I would say the sky is too dirty for their wings, but something worse is in the air. It's so ominous. Unless it's fate, then it doesn't matter. How can anybody explain all those poor beached whales? My dad was a fisherman, and he'd take me out to hear the whales sing. Now they... they just cry. Do you think this is some kind of eco-disaster, or...? I think it's more than that. Somebody is causing all this to happen. You think so, Samuel? You and Arcadia Bay are connected by time and tide. So, next time I have a question, I'm coming to you. Well, I'm glad to see your squirrels are still healthy and happy on the campus. Me too. If something happened to them, oh. Not as long as you're here to take care of them, Samuel. The only thing that calms them is food. <laughs> Lots of food. Which reminds me th that I have to feed them now. How would you like a partner for a quick photo op? Did you think you could hide from Max Caulfield, Squirrel Paparazzi? Get that food in your belly. Feel like the sky wants to yell at us. Do 
two cute little squirrels posing for me? If you insist. That's cool to see that Samuel's not alone for once. Hello, Max. Thanks again for helping me fight the power. Mrs. Grant looks interested in whatever Samuel's saying. Hi, Miss Grant. Max, you always show up when I'm talking about you. I'm still bragging about you and the other students making Blackwell surveillance free. I was looking for Nathan Prescott, and I thought he might be in your class. Mr. Prescott has no class at all after his suspension. I didn't think you were friends. Hell no. Sorry, Miss Grant. You're an adult. You can swear, damn it. And I'm glad you did. So you haven't seen Nathan at all? Let's just say I try not to, Max. But I did catch him storming off campus after what happened this week. I hope you don't see him either. You're not the best student here, but you, you might be the wisest. I was hoping you could explain some of these crazy things happening in Arcadia Bay. If I could, I'd be collecting my Nobel Prize in science today. I haven't been able to wrap my mind around that eclipse, much less the snow in Wales. There must be a scientific explanation, right? When my friends at NASA tell me they can't explain a solar eclipse without a single theory as to how or why, maybe it's time to get worried. Like they are. I am worried about reality. I feel like it's changing right in front of us. You and Samuel both. We were talking about that before you came over. Our planet is changing, but it's not mystic. It's erosion. So, you don't think this could be some kind of prophecy or something? Max, you know how fascinated I am by Arcadia Bay legends. But I haven't found any apocalyptic signs yet. Unless you count those end-of-the-world posters. Unless you know something I don't. What about wormholes and chaos theory? I like time travel stuff. The only wormholes in Arcadia Bay are underground. And chaos theory is just that. But if this is about time travel, sign me up. Would you really change time? Not after reading that Bradbury story, A Sound of Thunder. I won't give it away, but it involves dinosaurs and butterflies. Time is like a thread, Max. One tug and it all can unravel. I don't think surveillance would have helped Kate Marsh. Who needs surveillance when we have Maxine Caulfield? You did a wonderful thing, and now we have to make sure Kate gets the help she needs. Do you need to talk to a counselor? Uh, no, no thanks, Miss Grant. I have my best friend and my parents. For now. I'm happy to hear that, Max. Just don't ever be afraid to talk to somebody, okay? I wish Kate had come to me. I had no idea what she was going through. Kate was drugged at the Vortex Club party and bullied by them until she ended up on the roof. How do you stop that? Shut down that damn Vortex Club for a start. I don't mean to get riled up, but that party should have been postponed. It's extremely tasteless given what happened with Kate. So why doesn't Principal Wells stop the party? To be honest, he doesn't seem to care about what's going on here. Raymond Wells has saved this school from financial disaster, and he cares more than you'll know. You're wise, but don't be so quick to judge everybody. You're right. I, I just wish this could be the school that I dreamed about before I came here. I hear you, Max. I love seeing you and Warren and all my students at your best here. But you're all too young to be so cynical but you truly give me hope. I'm sorry, Miss Grant. I, I have to get going. 
I'll see you later. It's always good talking to you, Max. Justin, it's been so long since I've seen you. Because you're way too cool for us now, Chloe. Way too much shit going on, man. Try going to Blackwell. Insane. So I hear. Any word at all, Rachel? Dude, I wish. I'm working on it. And I miss her laugh when I bail off my board. She was probably high. Yeah, she had the sick nugs. True that. Okay, I have to bounce. Come hang with us at the park sometime. Chloe fits in so easy with Justin. I can tell that Justin is really into Chloe. Coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ah, oh, you suck. Now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. It's so lame, they don't have co-ed dorms here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. Now I just have to find Nathan's room. Kate brings it. So room 111 is the magic number. There's Eagle Eye Chloe scoping out the area for Nathan. Max, what are you doing? Hurry up! Evan. Of course. That's why no shits were given. <laughs> Evan rolls. Who would steal cat pics? They have one more meeting left. Oh, why, hello, Trevor and Dana. I'm here with you, right? Are toilet paper wars mandatory in the dorms? Every photographer should have one blurry Bigfoot shot. Even after Kate, nobody here learned anything about bullying. Oh, jerks. At least nobody messed with the Kate portrait. Zach or Logan? Who knows? Bro's got a bro. Welcome to the boys' dorm. Ugh, skunkweed and video games. I sense Hayden is near. This just makes me think of Kate.
Poor Warren. This is the work of Nathan. He's so lucky I'm a pacifist. Hello, Warren's room. Hawking and him make a good team. I can have a little fun with Warren for a change. I mean, he's the one who wants to go ape. And sometimes you have to take a chance and see what happens. I hope Warren doesn't think that's too dorky. I mean, not like he isn't. He'll laugh, right? Looks like one of the jocks did care about Kate. Oh, you Bigfoots. This can only be Nathan's room. Now I need to find Nathan's phone, or anything with clues. Nathan clearly has his fetish down. Remember, you're on enemy turf now, Max. That is so Chloe. Oh my god. Chloe. songs? Maybe this is the only soothing thing Nathan ever hears. That must be the lamp Chloe broke when Nathan drugged her. I don't think one book can guide the Prescotts. Damn, Nathan. That's a nice shot. If only all your energy went into photography. It's so damn creepy, but the guy has his own style. Yes, I would be cool with having this high-tech projector. That looks like a totally fun show. Even Nathan has a light side. That's so cute and ironic. I can't believe Nathan still has it around. I thought Victoria had the photo bling, but once again, the Prescott's rule. That monochrome camera is brand new and costs about six grand. <laughs> Bastard. Nathan Prescott, all American teen. Dickhead stole one of my selfies. I can rewind if he shows up, but I can't count on it. These films all have a dark pattern. 
Nathan likes his tortured subjects way too much. Holy shit. That's the gun Nathan used on Chloe. A gift from... Okay, there's... I don't think this prescription has helped, Nathan. I'd cry too if I had him for a father and had to wear that suit. Let's see what Nathan hides in here. Nathan is way into this party. Bad sign. Now I remember why I hate you, and why Kate will get justice. Oh man, Sean Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. Too bad Nathan isn't more like his sister. She sounds awesome, and far away. Yes, Nathan sure needs diet pills. This is strong stuff. Wow. <laughs> Kiss ass much, Principal Wells. those marks on the floor. Let's find out what you're hiding. Oh yes, little phone. You are mine now. Now I have Nathan's phone, so I can show it to Chloe. Well, before Nathan comes back. Damn, Max, you're finally back. I got worried. So what did you find? His room was clean and creepy. Check this out. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. What are you doing in my dorm? You're such a nosy bitch, Max. Stop right there, Nathan. Make me, ho. <clears throat> Max, I got this. Get the fuck out of my face. You are so fucking dead! Uh, uh, Get off me, bro! Uh, oh. uh. You like to hurt people, huh? Like Max? Like Kate? Like me? Huh? Feel this, motherfucker! Who's the bitch now? Chloe! Damn, Warren went full alpha on Nathan. And it was good. But scary. Shit, man. This really hurts.
Warren, stop it! Come on! Oh! Oh, my head! Why are y'all looking at me like that, huh? You and you! You're all dead! Let's go. Now! Plus, my dad is on his way. You're all fucked. He owns you! Even if Nathan definitely deserved a beating, we should try to be better than that. Damn, that was intense. Warren, uh, th thank you so much. For what? For headbutting Nathan Prescott. That was awesome. I don't know. I almost went crazy there. Like Nathan. You're not anything like him. Good to know. So where are you going? I better stick with you guys. Just in case you need me to get my Hulk on again. Or should I call the cops on Nathan? No police. Not yet. Uh, so maybe you better... Um... Warren, me and Max have to do this on our own. No offense. It's cool. Whatever I can do to help. What you can do is find out anything you can about Nathan's father. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse, I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. And thank you. Seriously. I'll call you later. You better. I'm feeling pretty alpha now. Yes, you are. Man, that guy is so fucking in love with you. I know. He really did give a serious beatdown to Nathan. It was a little scary to watch him do that. Now let's make a date with Frank. Will he even answer you? Frank always answers when he wants money. Like I said, Frank wants to see me right now. Let's not keep him waiting. I hate seeing those poor whales like that. Me too. I just think of their families in the ocean out there looking for them. Well, that asshole is going to help us find Rachel. You know what would be great? If I still had a gun. Yes, the chance for gunplay would just about even the odds here. Frank would scare better. He's a pussy. Besides, if I take him out, you can just rewind. Chloe, do not count on my rewind. Seriously. After Kate, I feel like every time I do, it might be the last. There's no way we could have guessed this is what would happen to us when we grew up. I'm looking forward to the day when we can just go on a road trip to Portland. Fuck yeah. You, me, and Rachel. Absolutely. So let's play this cool, okay? Just talk to Frank so we can get that code for the book from him. That's all. Got it. No dicking around. Let's roll. The forest seemed quiet, no sign of life or deer. I don't think Frank listened to my cleaning advice. It's not funny anyway. There might not be any Pan Estates by Saturday.
This is where my nightmare started. No worries, sign. Those beached whales look so awful, but still so majestic. Oh, poor little beach ball. Those beached whales look so awful, but still so majestic. It blows my mind that I was just here with Chloe in an alternate reality. Good thing there are no actual cops around to bust us. Behold, Frank's beer garden. I can't see inside with this shit blocking the view. Take the trash out sometime, dude. This is where Frank ponders his existence and gets drunk. Oh, fresh meat. So Pompidou must be okay. Good doggy. Chloe looks ready to rumble. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, or bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? I... I don't have the money. Yet. Oh, really? Then why did you text me that you did? Because I wanted to tell you in person. Oh, I'm truly touched, Chloe. Now why are you losers really here? We just want to ask you some questions. You have some serious lady balls. No. Jesus, okay, okay. But I'm not getting you high. Frank, we're not here to get high. No, you don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? You already did. Ah, oh, you fucking mental. I lost my keys, but I changed the lock. You better goddamn not be snooping around here. No, no, I'm not. I... I... Oh, Christ, I hate you, Blackwell. Shit. You expect everything for free. You're not getting any handouts from me. I work for a living, you understand? Yes, Frank. Without those Blackwell shits as customers, you wouldn't have any work at all. Dude, you're a drug dealer. You snobby whores. Don't come into my home and judge me. That's why I go to church. And you want something from me? How about a blade up the ass, huh? Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Not ever tell me what to do. Whoa! Get off of me! Motherfucker! <laughs> Listen, Chloe, I can tell you for a fact that this will not go well. Max, I should have known you'd be kind and rewind. So, 
tell me exactly what I need to do here. Please watch your mouth. You have no social skills here, and you will piss off Frank immediately. You kind of love this, don't you? Fine, I'll try being like you for a change. Or how you used to be. I... I don't have the money. <sighs> Frank, um, after our last meeting, I don't want any weapons involved. Could you put your knife or whatever in the RV until we're done talking? After you pulled a fucking gun on me, you want to negotiate my safety? I didn't trust you before, and now I do less. God, I hate you Blackwell shits. You act like you own this town, like I'm your puppet. Nobody owns me. You understand that? Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Not ever tell me what to do. Listen, Chloe. Max, I should have known you would be kind and rewind. Be careful, okay? Don't give Frank any excuses to go ballistic. We need his help, Chloe. You know, I'm not a total fuck-up. Occasionally I can be both cool and careful. Like now, okay? I... I don't have the money. Thanks for hearing me out, Frank. Look, we only want to talk, and it's not even about you. We're not here to start a fight. No, that shit would be over pretty fast. Don't fuck with me, and I won't return the favor. So what do you want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you... Listen, Frank. I'm sorry to be such a nuisance, but this is important. Yeah, yeah, everything's important these days. But I can tell you're not bullshitting me. There's no time for that, Frank. I, I just need a little bit of information. Yeah, yeah, well, it always starts with just a little. And Chloe here knows all about that, don't you? Come on, Frank, this isn't about me now. Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank, we didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. Oh yeah, you didn't come here to fight. A day after, you pulled a fucking gun on me. I... I am so sorry about that. It might be the dumbest thing I've ever done. And I've done a lot of dumb things this week. Finally, I believe you. But don't ever aim a gun at anybody unless you intend to kill. Although you don't look like you could kill a bug. I... I try not to. And I never would have pulled the trigger. I was just... Dude, she was scared, all right? You pulled your blade on me. We were all freaked out. Now we're all cool. Please? Okay. We're cool for now. But my dog isn't. And if you try any shit, he will bite your head off. He's done it before. We're only here to talk. I wouldn't mess with your dog. Shit, you wouldn't have time. You like dogs? Oh, Pompadour is so cute. The only way you know my dog's name is if you broke into my RV. That's how we got out. You did it, are you crazy? That's my dog! Wait, that's not what- Seriously, Frank, don't get all spun out. We're only here to find Rachel. Rachel isn't in here! And I'll spin you on your ass! What the fuck are you dorks up to, huh? Trying to break into my business? This time, the price is wrong, skank! Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Not ever tell me what to do. Whoa! Get off of me! Motherfucker! <laughs> Thank you. 
Listen, Chloe. Please watch your mouth. You have no social skills here, and you will piss off Frank immediately. You kind of love this, don't you? Fine, I'll try being like you for a change. Frank, uh, your dog is kind of scary. Could you please close the RV door? You aim your gun at me, but you're scared of my dog? That figures. Okay, there, you're safe. Now, what do you want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is it? Listen, Frank, I'm sorry to be such a nuisance, but this is important. Yeah. There's no time for that, Frank. Yeah, yeah, well, it always. Come on, Frank. Right. Frank, we didn't come. Oh, yeah, you didn't come. I... Finally, I believe you. I... I try not to. Dude, she was scared. We're cool for now. But my dog isn't. And if you try any shit, he will bite your head off. He's done it before. We're only here to talk. I wouldn't mess with your dog. Shit, you wouldn't have time. You like dogs? Of course I do. I heard you even rescued a bunch of fight dogs. That's amazing. No, all right, it was just the right thing to do. I couldn't stand to see those poor animals treated like, like slaves. That's how I came to own Pompadou. That's very cool, Frank. Your dog is lucky you came along. Maybe we can focus on rescuing Rachel now? Rachel? Is that why you're really here? Yes, we're so close to finding her now, Frank. We need all the help we can get now, especially from you. You and Chloe do not know Rachel like I did, and I couldn't even help her. You're in way over your heads. Why don't you just go play in your clubhouse? Rachel said she gave you one of her favorite photos. That proves how much she cares. And you care. That's why you have to help. How the hell did you know about that photo? That's my favorite picture of her. I can look at it any time and she'll always be there for me. I can't stand not knowing where she is. Not hearing her voice or her laugh anymore. We can change all that. It's up to you. Help us find her, Frank. Please. We really need your client list. Well, if there's a chance in hell, you two dorks can find Rachel. Yeah, I'll take it. My dog isn't barking at you, so I guess that's a good sign. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Frank. Seriously. It's hard to take you characters seriously, but I want to. Good luck. That was cool Frank gave up the code to help us. Rachel must have seen something good in him. Chloe, are you okay? I'm glad things worked out okay with Frank. It's nice to have one less enemy in Arcadia Bay. Amen to that.
I better focus on this board and start tying these clues together. Sorry, we got Frank on our side without using you. Chloe's on a roll to find more clues about Rachel now that we're so close. Hey Max, see if you can put together all those Rubik's clues. Just holla if you need any info while I go online to make sure we haven't missed anything. We've printed everything we need. Now it's time to focus on the big board. Let's look at Frank's drug deals during the week of the party. Oh, Frank's account book. But the client names are encrypted. Frank is for sure the local dealer, but I doubt Rachel was carrying drugs for him, right? Maybe Rachel took a road trip with Frank, but she did come back. So weird how close they were, but Frank couldn't keep Rachel or protect her. There's no doubt she loved him in some way. Rot must stand for Rottweiler. That does fit Nathan. Rotten. So, what happened to Rachel after this? She dumped Frank, but I don't think he would hurt her. The game is on. Now, talk to us, account book. Tell us everything. Let's see if I can find any deal Frank made with Nathan or the Vortex Club. Okay, Max, remember these names and see how Nathan fits in with all this. Frank sure is keeping his customers satisfied. He could open a store. Hmm. Two deals with Nathan on the same day? Party supplies, no doubt. Everybody in Arcadia Bay must be high. That explains a lot. I'm getting a contact high just reading this. If Frank applied this kind of detail to his life, who am I to talk? I wonder what dog name Frank would have given me. Oh, yes. These are all the times and places for Frank and Nathan's deals. Uh, that's it, Max. Thanks to David's own investigation, I should be able to find out what Nathan did during the party's week. David should have done way more than take photos of Kate. I hope in this case that David has good tracking skills. Hmm. Maybe he was trying to help Kate in his own messed up way. Does David know what's going on with Rachel or is he just paranoid about everybody? Look at all these license plates. I hope he was tailing Nathan. You need to get rid of these damn cameras, David. 
Of course, I'm a suspect. <laughs> Proving David sucks as a detective. Sorry. David really has been on Rachel's ass for a while. She should have been upset. At least David was finally going after the right suspect. And that's all she wrote. <sighs> Please let me find some clues about Nathan in here. Great. Now, how do I find out which car is Nathan's to match the coordinates? Of course Nathan drives an SUV. Overcompensating, as usual. There's Nathan dealing to the kids right out in the open. Maybe I should have let Warren beat Nathan's ass down. Just this once. Interesting. Is this Nathan's car? Wow, sir. This looks like an expensive machine. Hmm. Who does this car belong to? That's definitely Chloe's car. Okay, let's find out whose car this is. Yep, another car David was tracking. Oh yes, now we're finally getting somewhere. Chloe, let's plug in these numbers and see if they lead to an actual address. Aye aye, Captain. Here we come, Rachel. to analyze Nathan's messages. What could help me unlock this phone? Oh, so busted. It's good to see the Prescotts can't cover up all their tracks. If there is a dark room, we better find it. It's a good thing Chloe slipped all these files on her flash drive. There's a lot of numbers in here. This is the Vortex Club party where Nathan drugged Kate. Did he do the same thing to Rachel at another party? Holy shit. Nathan is seriously unhinged. But those numbers might be useful. Couldn't hurt to give this pin code a whack. Oh, there has got to be some good shit in his phone. I just need the code to unlock it. Okay, Max, let's blow this code up and go home. Let's start hacking. Oops, bad code.
Yes. Uh, this is all about Nathan trying to score for the Vortex Club party. Nathan was jonesing hard the night of the party. He didn't have enough drugs. Drug dealer drama. God, Nathan, you're out of control. So it was you. Now I can officially call you a psycho stalker. No, Nathan, it's time for you to watch out, asshole. Is this from Nathan's father? That's brutal. Take a breath, Max. Go through all this data and you can find out where Nathan took Kate after the party. So, this infamous party was the fourth. Was Frank meeting Nathan at the junkyard? If Joyce knew what Nathan did to Chloe, she would fry his ass. Oh, that has to be the Prescott estate. Poor, rich Nathan. That beach is like Frank's main office. I know Nathan wasn't looking for Bigfoot in the forest. Somebody is stocking up on gas. Why? No doubt that Nathan stays in his dorm room. So he could be hiding clues there too. Not much out there. Chloe, this is definitely the place. Let me dig up some more clothes here. Nope. Nothing, Max. There's nothing here. Just some shitty old barn. Let's keep searching and find out who owns this haunted barn. I'm on this. Hold on. Somebody named Harry Aaron Prescott. I'm shocked. Should we call the police? Fuck that. You know the police here are like Nathan's private security, right? That's so messed up. As you've noticed, this whole town is messed up. We can't trust anybody, except each other. So we have to go out to that farmhouse by ourselves. I was afraid you'd say that. We could call Warren since he kicked Nathan's ass. It's just the two of us, nobody else. And I'm not scared at all. You have the power. I feel like we're this close to finding Rachel. We have to find her, Max. We will. But remember, my power isn't infinite. 
We still have to be careful. Do you hear, Chloe? Yes, sir. Holy shit, this is scary. I know, but we're here. Let's go find the best way in. Whoa, check this out. Fresh tire tracks. Dude, somebody was just here. Then we need to get in that barn. These are thick tracks and definitely fresh. Nathan's SUV? Chloe is so damn fearless. Where does that come from? Watch us. Watson, we can safely assume that this ancient vehicle is not our suspect. Chloe, I found the front door. Come on. Oh, yes. Maximus rules. God, this is way too Blair Witch. I have goosebumps all over. Come on, Supermax. Hey, check out this old chest. A little louder, Chloe. Jeez, that is ancient. Jackpot. Old shit. No, look closer. Harry Aaron Prescott and family donate new library to Arcadia Bay. Prescott Industries celebrate grand opening. The Prescotts bring bomb shelter boom to town. Nice scrapbook. You search for more clues and I'll scope out the area. Old Prescott clippings. But that can't be the only thing here. Chloe would make a great detective, too. Even Harry Aaron Prescott was into selfies. 
boring, boring. This tractor has paid its dues. Okay, there's no reason for anybody to drive out here. But there must be. I guess the press cuts were just born bastards. Wow, sir. Talk about home on the range. There's no way this rusty-ass button will activate these ropes or pulleys. No more secrets, Sean Prescott. If a zombie shows up, I have my weapon. Huh. These hooks are used to lift haystacks. I saw them in a Friday the 13th movie. Old. Old. Ah, the good old days. So many haystacks, so few needles. Just rotting wood. Damn, lots of info here. Whoa. What is this? It's totally brand new. Why? No, Supermax. You can't open this with your bare hands. Okay, Chloe. Um, I, I found some kind of hatch, but it's locked. I got this. I hope. Let me know the second you need any help. No more secrets, Sean Prescott. <sighs> the rope leads up to that platform. Must climb. Chloe, can you give me a hand? Sidekick at your service. Up, up and away, Supermax. I dig having minions. That looks sturdy enough to stand on. Tell me if you need any help. Here's the other end of the rope. Hey, Chloe, can you attach the hook to that padlock? Oh, you are clever. I am all over this. Thy will be done. Then you better step away from that hatch. Nope. I can't pull this rope without tearing my flesh off. I need to hook this up to something heavier.
Hey, Chloe, can you attach... Skyver strikes again. Good evening, Doctor Who. <laughs> Sorry. to say how weird this is he just did who built this kind of place a press god of course this bunker is so surreal This is too heavy to break, so I'll need a code. First a padlock, then a digicode? Someone really doesn't want visitors. for the apocalypse. This must have cost a fortune. Come on. Now what the hell is this? More survivalist supplies. Water supplies. It's like in David's garage bunker. Look at these cans. David must shop at the same store. Whoa. This says it all about Nathan. He needs help. Tuck tape in a bunker is always a bad sign. I guess Nathan needs the most expensive printer in the world. That's an original signed illustration. Fits perfect in here. Somebody likes their whiskey.
These newspapers are all about Rachel and Kate. Jesus, I already hate this place. Needles. Gross. This must be the crap that Nathan gets from Frank. So who's using this fancy tripod? I've never seen so much pricey equipment before. Oh shit, that's Nathan's jacket. Has he been here recently? Ah, the Apocalypse Entertainment System. Oh yeah, school suspension is a deal breaker in the Prescott family. Talk about tortured. Son of a bitch. Whoa. What is going on between Nathan and his father? Let's see what's in here. Oh my god. No. Come on, let's see what this shit is all about. We are. Okay. A binder marked Victoria, but it's empty. Look, the next one says Kate. Oh no, Kate. No. God, I should have killed that bastard back there. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. <sighs> Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning the dose search tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. Can't be real. These are all these are all post shots, right? Right? Chloe, look at her face. She's out of it. Maybe, maybe Nathan paid her a shitload of cash to do this. She probably would have. I don't think so. Why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Then, then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way. She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. Oh my god, Rachel, Kate, all these files. This place actually feels evil. This picture is framed different. Rachel is awake and fucking furious. Rachel has passed out and she has something in her mouth. What happened to her? This shot is so staged. I can't believe it's real. I can't.
going, slow down. Wait for me. I know exactly where I'm going. Look, this is it. This is it. Are you gonna help me, Max? Chloe, stop. Look. Please, no. Oh. Oh. That smell. Rachel. Oh. I hope Nathan enjoys his last party. Chloe, we can go right to the cops. We have proof. Fuck the police. Rachel wanted us to find her. So we could get real justice. And revenge. The Prescotts have had this coming for a hundred years, and nobody is gonna get in my way. Especially with your help. Right? I'm with you to the end, Chloe. You know that. I can't tell if they're different. What is they that? Can't be too moved. Jesus, Chloe, look up at the sky. Possible. Beautiful. I don't give a shit. The world is ending. Cool. You're not listening. Something major is going down. That's right. Nathan Prescott is going down. Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you all right after today? I'm glad you stopped me. Nathan is dangerous. Where is he? I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? <laughs> well, if you consider half a beer drinking. Let's go, Max. Hey, hey. I know this is a bad time, but can I get one picture? I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, so I want to have something for prosperity. Well, I don't blame you, Warren. I know, I know. I'm a pain in the booty. Just one picture. Uh... Action. We've got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra-violence. 
I never hit anybody like that before. I was always the one getting my ass kicked. Hey, we still need your expert help. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him see you. He won't. I know how to be invisible here. Not to me, Warren. Text soon. Daniel into coming, just to see him flirt with Grover. Yeah, but so am I. I like science fiction. Hi, Daniel. Yes, Max makes an entrance. <laughs> I only came to the party because of you. I'm glad to see you out and about. By the way, have you seen Nathan Prescott tonight? No, I've been hanging with Book since I got here. Max, are you okay? Your face looks so serious. I'm not in party mode tonight. You look like you're on a secret mission. This is where it's going to end. For Rachel's sake. Oh, Max, you need a black whale brain. I'm taking book. Miyazaki's show in Portland. If you want to come along, the more the merrier. Thanks, Daniel. I have to stay on my mission now. 
I hope you stay on yours and become a great artist. Well, I'll be celebrating someday in a museum, Max. Adios. Are Daniel and Brooke flirting? Right on. Hello, Brooke. Max, I didn't expect to see you at a Vortex Club party. I didn't expect that either, but I really need to find Nathan. Have you? No, I haven't seen him. And I'm not looking for him, so I most likely won't tonight. I just hate that scrub and his club. So why are you here tonight? No homework, boredom, waiting. Have you seen Warren tonight? No, I was talking to Daniel. He asked me to go with him to the Portland Art Museum this weekend. Oh, um, that, that's so sweet. I bet Daniel will be a great museum guide. I'm more into science than art, but what kind of a selfish fangirl would miss a Miyazaki exhibition? You're not selfish, bro. You're just trying to live your life without all this bullshit. Like all of us here. You seem so wise and kind of invincible this week. I think that snow and eclipse gave you superpowers. Check to see if you can fly. Only with your drone. By the way, did you see that crazy double moon out there earlier? Max, if I saw a double moon out there, I would assume it really was the end of the world. Well, the night is still young. And so are we, Max. So let's plan a drone date next week. No one seems to know where Nathan is. Is he hiding or something? Energy drinks, so are there energy drinks. I know somebody has to lose. There's Courtney drinking alone without Taylor or Victoria. I wonder why. Old days. Someone with Luke. I almost didn't see you. Max, you're the only person I don't mind seeing right now. I was looking for Nathan. I've avoided almost everybody here tonight. Uh, why are you looking for Nathan? I want to make sure he's not going to do, do anything tonight. Like what happened to Kate. I have dreams that somebody finally kicks his ass one day. Sometimes dreams come true. And today I saw Warren give me this epic head though. Yes, give it up for Brother Warren. Now all we have to do is drive all these goddamn Prescott vampires out of town. I think Sean Prescott wants to drive all of us out of town. Or into Pan Estates. I met him once at a Bigfoots game. Mean fucking bastard. Oh man, he explains Nathan. Preach it, brother Luke. Okay, I have to get going. Um, thanks for seeing me. No, thank you. But for helping Kate. And for keeping it real. Peace out. Bigfoot on otter action. Good Alyssa, shake that booty. I'm surprised to see you here. Alyssa, I have to find Nathan. Have you seen him? I really don't know, but surely in the VIP section, like it's a New York club. Thanks, Alyssa. Watch out for yourself. 
fly when I have Max Caulfield at my side. Good luck. Yes, I I'm back. You scared me for a sec. I was ready to duck. Didn't think you'd come back. I'm surprised that Blackwell is having a party after Kate almost jumped off a roof. I guess people are happy that Kate is okay now and we can party with her. I'm just happy she's trying again. She seems much better and her mother is being so supportive for a change. Kate deserves that. I saw that the video got taken down, so I, I hope nobody posts it anywhere else. Is that naive? Look how fast people here forgot about Kate. They'll find some new Blackwell drama and forget about her video. So it goes. Look at this. I'm at my first and only Vortex Club party. I know. This week was so shitty that I just wanted to be around a bunch of people trying to have a good time. Even if I hate most of them. I think Rachel Amber would agree. I didn't know her, but I hope she's safe and sound. Uh, yeah. I'll talk to you later, Alyssa. Max, you look kind of tense. Maybe you should go crash. You had a tough week, too, with Kate. Plus, having to save my ass all the time. I'm so glad I could warn you about all those sneak attacks. You kind of are a superhero. You always choose to help me. It reminds me of the only poem I can quote by a Robert Frost. I could use one moment of poetry right now. Okay, but this is like poet karaoke, so don't cringe. I shall be telling this with a sigh. Somewhere, ages and ages hence, two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. That was beautiful, Alyssa. It was exactly what I needed to hear. Thanks for not cringing. And thanks for watching my back. Blackwell would be so much cooler if we all did that for everybody else. But you're a great start, Max. not missing anything. I'm so not impressed by this VIP crap. Hey, Max. What are you doing in here? If I get Apparently, Blackwell has a severe toilet paper fetish. I'm not in the mood, but still, this could be an interesting shot. I'm never leaving this toilet. This is my last Vortex Club party. Justin's just a little buzzed. Yo, maximum overdrive, about time you got here to save this lame rave want to get ripped uh you look pretty ripped already justin and not happy why did you even come tonight where else could i go in arcadia bay on a thursday night besides dana is here just not with me so yes this party sucks you're obviously not cool with trevor dating dana I tried to front like I was. When I saw them together, came over to cry like a little bitch. No, it's, it's more like somebody who's in pain. I'm sorry, Justin, but you're a cool, considerate guy and you're gonna find somebody just as cool, just minus the drama. Max, I know I'm twisted, but your face looks so fucking intense and your voice sounds different. 
You okay? How about a quick dab? Uh, no, I'm, I'm cool, Justin. And I have to get going. Maybe you should go chill somewhere else. Fucking A, Maximus. You're right. I'm only torturing myself here. Plus, I'm too loaded. It's time to get my board and grind. The tide is turning. I'd like to tear every one of these things down. Chloe must be around. Hello? Can you please hurl and flush already? Yes! You've been vomiting for like an hour! Good night, sweet so you're prince. Not the only one who has to get sick. If you don't wrap it up, <sighs> Gross. It in, How did this even get here? Somebody's either having sex or throwing up. Or both. Ugh, Max. Not anymore. What would a shitty party be without glow sticks? Yes, you do suck. Why isn't Courtney guarding the list for the VIP section? Excuse me, but I'm going in. Sorry, but this is the VIP section. Members only, okay? Sorry, but I'm on the list, okay? I know that Max Caulfield is not on any list for the Vortex Club. Nice try. Listen. No, you listen. Courtney is supposed to be the VIP gatekeeper, not me. So please go. I need to find a way to enter this bullshit club. Vortex Club VIP Lounge. You better let your minion know since she won't let me pass. Oh, that little asshole just made her last mistake. She thinks she's Victoria. <laughs> bye bye Now, let's go make an official VIP entrance, Max Factor. <laughs> Get it? Hey, Sarah. Um, do you know that I personally put Max's name on the list? So, you like decide to block her from coming in while I'm taking a break? <laughs> you're not in charge here. Wait, I, I just... Uh, oh my god, you're done! And you're off the list permanently. Welcome to the Vortex Club. Why isn't Courtney guarding the list for the VIP section? Nathan is the Vortex Club, so his ass has to be here tonight. and nobody is looking out for her. Nobody learns at Blackwell. A bomb. Give me a break. Surprise, Hayden is trashed. 
He would dose his own drink first before anybody else's. What's up, Hayden? Oh, uh, fuck. Up in the sky, it's Supermax here to save the party. Have you seen Nathan? I just vaped some dank OG butts, so I can barely see you. Or are these hotties next to me? Do you want a hit? No. I want to find Nathan. Me too! He's supposed to be bringing some special party favors. Hope that the party you actually planned a party in the park. Not this year. So, has anybody here seen Nathan? I guess you have to go ask everybody here. Or you can sit down and take a quick guess. Hayden. Does Sean Prescott pay for the Vortex Club party? What doesn't he pay for? Prescott's shit money. How else could we afford DJ Doomsday to spend? Prescott family is literally making you dance. Whatever. I'm in this world to have fun. Try it sometime, Max. I finally get you and Dana to come out to a Vortex Club party, but you just want to lecture me? Gee, thanks, Mr. Madsen. How much fun did Kate have at your last party? Listen, just watch out for Nathan too. I think that's your job, Max. Come back when you're ready. Taylor really shows her Vortex Club spirit. Max, look at you go, girl. Taylor, have you seen Nathan yet? No, that's fine by me. He's been getting like too buggy and kind of scary. Victoria might know. What does Victoria say about him? She blows it off, but Vic is close with Nathan. They're more like brother sister, or something. She really cares about him. Is this why you want to be in a vortex club? No, Max. I'm like far from home at a great school. I want to learn things, make friends, and party. But when Kate was on the roof, I knew I'd gone too far. Kate was dosed at the last Vortex Club party by Nathan, so you should avoid any drink here tonight. But trust me, I won't even drink my own water when Nathan is around now. He's a pharmacy simulator. I do have to go now. Look out for yourself, Taylor. And give my best to your mom. Oh, thanks, Max. She's doing great after her surgery. I'm glad to know you're looking out for us, too. Chips and crackers. Spare no expense, Vortex Club. So the Vortex VIPs get real alcohol at their underage bar. Again. I know Victoria is next on Nathan's hit list. Should I warn her? No, Logan, you're not getting any action tonight. Or even a dance. Logan. Can I talk to you for a second? Max, all right. I'll talk after you shake that booty for me. Oh, uh, no. Have you seen Nathan? I can't even get Victoria or Taylor to twerk. And you want to hang with Nathan? Why? None of your business. Oh, Max is dropping serious attitude on the dance floor. Logan, this is a swimming pool. In other words, you haven't seen me. Ask Victoria. She always knows where he is. Don't you ever want to see me? You're so cute. We never really talk. Logan, you're such a dick. You bailed on Dana when she was pregnant, right when she needed you most. Now you're trying to mac on me? Are you proud of yourself? Bro, you are giving me the full body tackle. I already feel like an ass for breaking on Dana. How can I be an undick now? You could start by not trying to sex up every female in front of you. The rest is your choice. Use it well, bro. Oh, and don't ever touch Daniel DaCosta again. You will regret it. Now, excuse me. Damn. That was way more exciting than the dance. Catch you later, Max.
I'm glad Dana ended up with Trevor. Yay, Max! I can't believe you showed up. Why didn't you tell me? We could have dressed up together. As you can tell by my outfit, I, I was in a hurry. Dana, have you seen Nathan around? Hell no, I've been dancing with Trevor. Come on and dance with us. <laughs> Look at Trevor trying to bust a move. You guys look really happy together. I think we are. <laughs> He's so different than Logan. We actually talk about life. And he knows how to be safe. I hear you, Dana. But I want you to avoid Nathan if you see him, okay? I will if I want to have fun. I still feel sorry for him. He needs help, but not from his family. What do you know about his dad, Sean Prescott? Uh, rich and rich and a dickhead, according to Nathan. The Prescotts can't buy a happy family or a happy club. Sounds like you're ready for a change. I don't need any club to be cool or have friends. <laughs> Look at you. Plus, I like hanging with Trevor and his skater friends. No drama. That sounds like a plan, Dana. I'm glad Trevor is with you tonight. Thanks. The boy cannot dance, though. Look at that. So Juliet hooked up with Zachary again? She better be careful so he doesn't pull any revenge on her or something. Dude, Zachary, if you mess with Juliet, I will kick your balls on a loop. Oh, that makes me want to pull a carry on the Vortex Club. Kate almost dead. Rachel dead. <laughs> Enter the Vortex Club. Look at these entitled assholes. They don't give a shit about anybody. If that tornado came right now, I would just sit here and watch for a while. But I have to make sure Chloe doesn't go on her own rampage. <sighs> I hate feeling this way. It's dark and angry. Vortex Club actually hired DJ Doom for the party. Here's the Queen Bee. Sorry, Max. Vortex Club members only. Sorry. I'm on the guest list. I'm taking you off. Go fuck yourself, me, Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. And after I apologized to you the other day. Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh tried to kill herself in front of you and me. Everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. Oh, I will. You didn't help Kate at that party. You knew she was totally wasted. Then you sent the video to everybody just to twist the knife. Wow. Are you kidding me? I didn't make her drink that wine. Nobody pushed her tongue into everybody's mouth. I watched her, Max. Then shame on you. And you know Kate was dosed, no matter how much you deny it. That's why she ended up on that roof. And you made sure to take one last video of her, right? I deleted that video from my phone, Max. Oh, I bet that comforts Kate's family. I don't even know how you sleep at night. I'm not perfect, okay? I'm a teenager at an art school. I'm only here to become a photographer and get famous. Your photographs suck, Victoria. You make fun of my selfies, but most of your photos are basically headshots. I don't think Richard Avedon has anything to worry about. Oh, you did not just say that. 
can't wait to see you choke when Mr. Jefferson selects my incredible photo for the Everyday Heroes contest. Uh, yeah, I saw you try to blackmail Mr. Jefferson last night because you're so incredible. That was so pathetic, Victoria. Uh, no, Creeper. We were talking about the contest. You didn't even enter a picture, so stop acting like you care. Like Mr. Jefferson gives a shit about you either. I mean, have you ever even watched his body language when you try to cuddle up to him? <sighs> Sad face. Ha ha! By the way, nobody says we have to be friends, Max. Good. I have real friends. I wouldn't want a fake one. Oh, right. You're the faker, acting like you cared when I was covered in that paint. Who do you think set up the paint can to fall? It wasn't Samuel, dumbass. You did that? You bitch. You could have killed me with that fucking can. I almost got that freak Samuel fired. And that would have been bad. You're right, Victoria, for once. You actually think you're better than me. No fucking way. Guess I'll never be a member of the Vortex Club. No, bitch, you won't. Never mind. It was good talking to you, Victoria, as usual. Eat a dick, Max. You're just jealous of me because I actually do the things you can't. I put my photographs out there while you hide behind your lame retro self. At least tell me where Nathan is. Uh, why do you want to know? Principal Wells wanted to see us Monday. It's no big deal. Then why ask me? I haven't even seen him tonight. Adios. Au revoir. You start a little sound, speech of how you moved around. You tell me you're so well, I had the level. Should I have warned Victoria about Nathan? I mean, she might be evil, but. Another two shall we? Let me enjoy this party without you around. members only. Sorry, I'm on the guest list. I'm taking you off. You're selfie, Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. And after I apologized to you the other day. Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. I don't blame you, Victoria, but... You know Kate had a church group and that she didn't party. So why did you send out that video? Oh, God. I swear we weren't even going to do it. Then we had some wine and got stupid. It's more than stupid. It's mean, hateful. Kate never did anything to you. And that didn't stop you from taking one last video of her on the roof. I deleted that from my phone. Maybe I'm not her friend, but I didn't get off on Kate attempting suicide. I'm not evil, Max. I believe you, Victoria, but I don't understand you. That makes both of us, Max. I always feel like I have to overcompensate. For what, I have no clue. I'm only here to become a photographer, not president. You have talent, Victoria. You don't have to push people out of your way. You don't understand. My parents own a gallery. I know how this art game has to be played. It's brutal. No, it's, it's art. You don't have to play their way. Mr. Jefferson doesn't talk that way, and, and he's famous. On point, Max. Thanks for admitting again that I have some talent. Not that I think I always do. I don't either, but that's the choice you make. Hard to believe but I don't always make the best choices. Do you think it's like fate we're not supposed to be friends? Why the hell not? 
we're both into art and photography. We're both kind of weird and pretentious. If we hung out with our attitude, we'd get along fine. I almost asked you to hang out. You said my photos were Avedon-esque. Then I remembered who I was. You should have asked me. It would have been cool to compare photo notes. Maybe we're too much alike. You might be right. Well, Max Caulfield, there's still time for you to get in the Vortex Club. I actually hope so, Victoria. Why do you say it like that? Victoria, listen to me. Your life is in serious danger. I know Nathan is your friend, but he is truly unstable and dangerous. He did drug Kate at that party so he could take her something to the dark. What? Nice try, Max, but I don't believe you. And why would he do that? That I don't know yet, but it was enough to make Kate want to die. And I think you're next. Max, that is crazy. Nathan is like one of my best friends. Yes, he takes serious meds, but that's not his fault. His family treats him like a total freak just because he has little meltdowns. They're not little anymore. They're deadly. I, I don't care if you hate me or not. You have to believe me. You could have been a major bitch to me when I got hit with that paint, and I deserve it. Max, I don't hate you. I actually think you're one of the coolest people at Blackwell. Weird, but cool. You just don't know it yet. Maybe I'm jealous because you don't give a shit what anybody thinks, and I do. To be honest, Nathan has been freaking me out lately. He's not here, and I haven't seen him. Just make sure you stay away from him, and stick close to your friends tonight, okay? I let you boss me around this one time, and I have other people I can go to for protection. Thanks for telling me this, Max. If what you said is true, then you be careful too. I've got my own protection. Um, text me if you need anything. I will. Thanks, Victoria. Au revoir. Maybe there's hope yet for Victoria and me. I'm glad I warned her. I hope she's okay. Oh good, Chloe's here. Well, she obviously didn't find Nathan. There you are. Chloe, Nathan isn't here. Nobody has seen him tonight. He's definitely not upstairs or in the locker. Damn. Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Then let's bail. Nathan can't hide anymore. So, you made it, Max. Oh, uh, hey, Mr. Jefferson. Uh, are you both okay? You look like you're on a, a mission. Oh, uh, I was just looking for Nathan. Uh-huh. Well, I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He, he seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the, uh, the whole Kate situation. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume and portfolio, but I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. I'm almost gone. Take the hell out of here, Max. Okay, okay. everybody calm down. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Look, I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody who thought about entering. Now, this is the most important step in being an artist, sharing your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. The envelope, please. And the winner is... Come on! Oh my, what a shocker. Victoria Chase.
Thank you so much, Mr. Jefferson. It was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to Kate Marsh. <laughs> she is the real everyday hero of Blackwell, and I can't wait for her to come back. Thank you. You suck, Victoria. <laughs> Victoria won. Big surprise. I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. Yeah. Yes, I can. Who fucking cares? Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass now. Me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit. We have to go to the junkyard right now. around, Chloe. Right. Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. You have to be quiet. We could die, okay? What the hell? Oh, gross. Max, please hurry. Are you looking for something back there? Catch up. gonna suffer, Nathan. God, I wanna fucking kill that little psycho. Hey, I can't focus if you're yelling. Please. Nathan, if you're not going to be cool. Max, please hurry. Oh God, Max, look. She's still there. Don't look, Chloe. Oh. 